So I did 20 years in the military. I'm retired military. I was a construction electrician. I was a CB. I did it for 20 years. One of the things that the military taught me that I am forever grateful for, not just in life because it's applicable in life, but in this Christian journey. And the Holy Spirit reminded me today of what that was. And that is to get over your feelings. This statement right here is so profound on so many different levels. Like it's just the treasure that keep giving, baby. To understand that you got a responsibility every single day in which you are not the priority. You are not the focal point. That there is an appointed place of duty. There is somewhere that you are required to be every single day of your life. The rule, the regulation, the restriction, it's not up for debate. It's not up for discussion. It simply is. Your feelings, your mood, your emotions, your opinion doesn't impact the requirement. It still exists. This is something that so many people need to get in their life but also in their spiritual walk. You see, we learn in our journeys in the military that the reason why you don't matter is because there's something greater than you. You matter as far as you serving a purpose for the greater good. And if you have to sacrifice that very matter, <laughs> if you got to sacrifice that life for the sake of, of the good is what you signed up for. So there's no discussion about discomfort, about what you like and what you don't like because you've already given your life over to the organization. You've already given your life over to the military and you getting something out of it, by the way. You getting opportunities that other people don't have. You getting college paid for it. You getting a secure check every two weeks. Many are getting housing benefits. You get job security. You learning a skill. You travel in the world. Oh, you set up real nice. But what does it require? Your life. You see in the Christian walk, it's much of the same in that what you feel does not get to dictate your spiritual walk. It is not in charge. Feelings, as they say, are great servants, but are terrible masters. You see, it don't matter how you feel about it. You got a place where the Lord desires to take you. And that in destination is what's important because along the way, there are souls that need to be delivered. There is purification, sanctification that needs to happen within you so you could be conformed to the image of the son, Jesus Christ. You ain't never going to get there wrapped up in your feelings, letting your feelings dictate because your feelings after about five minutes, going to get tired, going to want to sit down, going to want to Netflix and chill. No, you got to get up when you don't want to. You got to do the things that you don't want to do because you got somewhere you got to be. And what you don't realize is there's an appointed time in which God desires you to be there. So you don't even realize that you're in route traveling to that thing long before it's coming to your awareness. Oh, long before I got saved, the Lord was training me. The Lord was guiding me. The Lord was giving me various tools to put in my tool bag for a later date. 
Oh yeah, see, you think it's when you give your whole life to Jesus. But before I formed you in the womb, before I knit you in your mother's womb, I knew you before I formed you. God's been working on you a long time. Matter of fact, you were God's idea. So the fact that we are so led by our feelings, I don't want to, you know, and I am not someone who is exempt from this. I was just telling the Lord <laughs> this just 20 minutes ago. For real, for real. Lord, I do not <laughs> want to fast. I don't want to struggle. I feel like my suffering days are over. I do not want to. And I had to, as the Holy Spirit was even speaking to me about that, I was like, can I just express the fact that I do not <laughs> want to do this? But Lord, I give this not want to to you. Because it's not about what we want to see you got to get up every single day because there's something that is required of you in that day see you may not realize it you may not be aware of it it don't mean that nothing's occurring it just means it hasn't hit your awareness yet but every day our mind needs to be renewed. Every day we need to take up our cross and follow God. Every day God has something he wants us to do. It don't matter how you feel about it. You don't want your life to be dictated by your feelings. So stop telling God how you feel <laughs> about it so that he can excuse the action. Just do what he tell you to do and trust that your feelings will never get you any amount of progress, any amount of success if you are led by them. It's one thing to recognize that you're feeling a certain way to check in to that thing. But if it is not moving you closer to God, if it is not moving you closer to what God is calling you to do, if it is not moving you into purpose, if it is not allowing you to continue on the trajectory that God has set for you, then you can't trust those feelings. You got to bring those feelings to the Father because they stem from thoughts. So you got to hold them thoughts captive to Jesus Christ. Ask him to reveal you truth about your feelings. And if they not conducive to developing closer intimacy with the father and what he has for you, then you need to chuck them feelings at the door, baby. It don't matter. I get it. Yes, they real. They real feelings. But you got an appointed place of duty. You got somewhere you need to be and there's a time you need to be there. You can't afford to be messing around with fickle feelings. Yeah, the greatest thing the military taught me, something bigger than you going on. There's something greater than you going on. You so focused on you and how you feel in the moment and you don't realize that there are lives that attach to you for generations to come. Yeah, in the military, it's like that. The future Navy, the future military depends on you doing what you're supposed to do, being where you're supposed to be. Yeah, their souls that are attached to you. There are generations of people that need to give their life over to Christ that's attached to your assignment, that's attached to what you're doing right now. That's going to be impacted by the decisions you make today and you making decisions based off of feelings that are going to change in five minutes. Give it seven and they'll turn around. They'll, they'll start to dissipate a little bit. They'll start to change. You cannot make eternal decisions that will impact others based on your feelings in the moment. There's something bigger than your feelings. There's something bigger than you. Trust the wisdom of God and how he's leading you and do what it is that he is asking you to do.